So good morning, everyone. I cordially welcome all the students, the teachers, and it's a pleasure to have you here again. And I think that's the first occasion that we are not just a program located in Seged or Central in Seged, but it's now it's a nationwide program, and we are pretty proud of it. And I welcome all the colleagues coming from the other universities, and especially I would like to welcome all the speakers and Nobel laureates who attend this meeting. I have the honor to introduce you our first speaker, Professor Aaron Chihanover, who got the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, shared with Professor Avram Hershko and Irvin Rose. And they got the Nobel Prize for the discovery, for the identification of the ubiquitin-mediated protein degradation. So, <laughs> Professor Chihanover was born in Haifa in Israel in 1947. He went through all of his education in Israel, and he got the MSc degree in 1971 at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. In 73, he got medical doctor degree at the Hebrew University, and in 1982, he got the doctor in biological sciences degree at the Faculty of Medicine in the Technion Israel Institute of Technology in Haifa. He was awarded by the Albert Lasker Award it is considered as the American Nobel Prize in year 2000, Israel Prize in 2003, and the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2004. In the next figure, I try to show you what is the essence of this ubiquitin-mediated protein degradation, but until we can see the figure, I can even explain it to you. You know, degradation processes are generally going spontaneously. They don't need the energy input of energy. And they discover that under certain conditions, the degradation of proteins needs first the energization with the help of ATP to the protein to be degraded. And it was quite unique and surprising. It turned out that it's a very basic regulation in the protein life in trafficking. And this energy is needed for the labeling of these proteins destined for the degradation in the proteosomal system with a special small protein called ubiquitin. And this labeling needs the energy of the ATP. What is the importance? If a protein is damaged or not properly synthesized, so if it's not properly folded or is anything wrong with that protein, the system should get rid of it quite quickly, not to harm the rest of the cell, the other molecules. And this can happen once they are identified with this labeling and they go for the degradation process. But even normal proteins can be unnecessary if there is a certain period of time, for example, growth factors and other signal molecules, if they should disappear once they serve their function. And to go for disappearance, it needs the labeling with the ubiquitin. It is called now generally as the kiss of death. That's the labeling that to be, to be degraded. Yes, so he got the Nobel Prize in year 2004. Since then, he is member of the Israeli National Academy of Sciences and Humanities, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, the American Philosophical Society, the National Academy of Sciences of the USA, the Institute of Medicine of the National Academies of the USA, the Russian Academy of Sciences, and the German National Academy of Sciences, Leopoldina. He is not the first time with us. We got some nice pictures. I hope once you will see that. He was with us in 2012, 10 years ago, when the whole program was initiated. Professor Chihano were with us in 2012. That was the first occasion with the 
75th anniversary of the Nobel Prize of Albert Sengergi celebration, he participated in the planting of the tree of sciences in the garden of this building. And then he visited us two years later in 2014, and he had some presentations and discussions with the students of the program. And we are very glad to welcome him at the third time here in Seged in our program. But this time, he is going to talk not about this Nobel laureate discovery, but it is a very burning issue, particularly in the last past couple of years, that how we can cure some diseases, especially in the time of a pandemic, and what kind of major bioethical problems should be solved before to be able, become able to cure the disease. So the lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic. So thank you for coming and please, Professor Chihanover. <laughs> 